and engage in the playful creativity of being a tourist in an excursion around Los Angeles. All of this can be combined into a creative learning process and an experience for life. fantasy about uh, modernist houses. So that brought me to America, to the West Coast. Xavier uh, is an artist that I've been uh, knowing for more than 20 years. He visited me four years ago uh, in LA with his family. And he already at the time had the idea of uh, starting this project. The house was Richard Neutra's primary residence from 1932 until his death in 1970. It's very open, it's about connecting to the outdoors. And that we consider sort of California modernism. What I want to do is to uh, try to catch the essence of the modernism that is in this house and to express it. and three kids they are teenagers. It's also funny because uh, Richard Neutra is a well family of three kids and um, in a way we kind of replay uh, the situation with another family. So I start to put this kind of biographical things that are usually not in my work. My work is very generic and it turns to be more specific. Here. In terms of the connection of Xavier and Richard Neutra, both are really interested in the contemporary condition and what it is to be modern. So usually I'm working on projects, I'm invited. Yeah, it's a very different story because uh, I really choose those places. At some point you, you just do it yourself because it's the only way to have it really the most um, exciting. The sculpture that will be presented in the in the house are all using different techniques. You know, some are more figurative, some more abstract. But also, we're kind of using different uh, materials to kind of produce them. There is a lot of relation with the machine and uh, cars and rockets. For example, there is this blue flame rocket car. It was in the 70s that it won the world record of the speed on Earth, and 70 was also the date of uh, Richard Neutron's death. So I kind of associate symbol of modernism with the uh, figure of the architect. There will be a plane flying above Silver Lake, pulling a large banner, and this banner will be just a long black stripe. When you see a nice car, uh, or a good shape, or a design, or a piece of furniture, or clothes, uh, you don't know exactly why it's so good. There is a, obviously a connection between climate and uh, environment, and for example, surfboard technology. There is a feeling that is exactly actually the proportion of a surfboard which is also a cinemascope, and this is this kind of Ed Rocher stripe feeling. This is also the proportion of the windows in this house, a kind of a wide open space that is also what you look through the windshield of your car when you're driving around. So, all this proportion thing is linked, there is a relationship definitely, and I want to get this relationship and it's, it, I find it back in the object I'm working on and I don't think like B 
being formal is something that goes against a certain form of intellectualism. I think when it's when you bring it together and you, when you're not a naive artist and you uh, and, and you use strong shapes and strong form, then you can really communicate with the uh, people.